Shalom. Call Laimla. Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Or Kok Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, Ye have borne the shame of the heathen. So we have become a reproach to the heathen nations and are trimming our ways to seek love from them that hate us. So this is Hattie McDaniels that won a Grammy Award for playing her role and part as a mammy, a good, happy slave. So these are some images from the 1939 movie, Gone with the Wind. I want to show you one that kind of stands out. 1939 movie, Gone with the Wind. And she won an Oscar award for this. I mean, look at this. This is unbelievable. So here you are conveying and portraying an image of being a good, happy slave. A good old step and fetch it. And you're showing all your teeth cheesing, pleasing master how to be a good, happy servant, a good, happy slave. I mean, this is unbelievable. Look at this. Unbelievable. So Eve is in bed with the serpent. Serpent means Satan or Shaitan, adversary of the Most High. A good old happy slave. This is utterly ridiculous. There was another image that I wanted to show you. And I just went, come on, man. You can't make this stuff up. Look at I me, mean, look at this. So this is the image that Sleazy E want to portray you Israelite women as. And these are the wicked E's that are raising a lot of our men, beta male simps, the two-third Israelite men, scared, weak, and effeminate. Good boys. A good boy. What the hell? I mean, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? So this is what Holly Weird, Hollywood, Push, the music and film production agency. Holly Weird. This is unbelievable. This is the image that Evil E want to push of you Israelites. How to serve. How to be a good, happy, compliant, good boy or a good girl. Let's go into the Bible. We have borne the shame of the heathen. Let's go to Ezekiel 36, verse 6. <clears throat> Prophesy, therefore, concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. All these proverbs 
and all these curses are going to be turned unto the heathen. They're going to be happy to serve. Happy being at the bottom. The Most High tell us in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. All these curses, let's get it. Deuteronomy 30. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So these curses are going to be turned unto those that afflict and persecute us. They're going to know what it feels like to be a servant and handmade. The Bible says that these heathen and Gentile nations are going to be servants and handmaids. They're going to wait on the elect of Israel from head to toe, hand and foot. Let's go back into the Bible. Let's go to Ezekiel 22, verse 4. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made. And thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen, and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near, and those that be far from thee, shall mock thee, which are infamous and much vexed. So we have become a proverb and a byword, a reproach. We are being mocked and scoffed at. No one respect the nation of Israel today. Let's read it again. Ezekiel 22. Verse 4, thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made, and thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art become, and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen, and a mocking to all countries. Let's go into that word. A mocking. What is that? A mocking. Oh, excuse me. A reproach. We're going to look up that word reproach. Strong's H2781. Herpa. 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 A reproach, scorn, taunt. Resting upon condition of shame disgrace so this is shame and disgrace a mammy a good old happy slave and getting rewarded for it winning an Oscar for the 1939 movie Gone with the Wind and she was happy and started crying oh master oh master oh master thank you Thank you, master. Thank you. Oh, thank you, master. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is absolutely ridiculous. But you Israelites love it. You love it. Wow. Look at this. Unbelievable. So we have borne the shame of the heathen. A reproach. Let's go back into the word. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. 
So we become even more wicked than the wicked. Outdoing them. Showing ways not to walk in. Contrary to the Bible. We have borne the shame of the heathen. I mean, look at this. You can't make this stuff up. Unbelievable. Aunt your mama herself. Look at this. What the hell? And this is what we're dealing with here. You wicked Eve's got to pay for these crimes. Somebody has to pay for these crimes. Nothing in this world is free. Even Hattie McDaniel. Somebody has to pay for these crimes. We're trimming our ways to be loved by those that hate us. Let's go to Psalms 79, verse 4. The book of Psalms, chapter 79, verse 4. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord, will thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. Say what? <clears throat> For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. O oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let thine tender mercies speedily prevent us. For we are brought very low. We are what? We are brought very low. Good old happy slaves. Psalm 79 verse 8. Oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let thy tender mercies. Oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let thy tender mercies speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Psalm 79, verse 9. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us. And purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed. So we got to get the hell out of this mess. This is absolutely ridiculous. Getting a reward for being. A good old happy slave. So we have borne the shame of the heathen. Hopefully this message, hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala and Abad Baba. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.